And what I found was that it didn't matter what type of cancer somebody had, it didn't matter what country they were from, it didn't matter what gender they were or even how old they were, they were all doing these nine things. Now there's room for individual variation, right, in these nine things. So one of the nine factors is taking herbs and supplements. They weren't all taking the same supplement. That would have been wonderful. I could have come back and said, here's the supplement, right? Everybody just take this and your cancer will go away. That's not what I found. But they were all taking herbs and supplements. They were all changing their diet. They were all changing their mental and emotional world in the same ways. And that was fascinating because I was in China, Japan, New Zealand, Africa, Brazil. It didn't matter where I was, they were doing these nine factors. And that was really exciting. And the nine factors are, which are they? They are um, in no particular order. Okay. I'll just start with the physical ones. The two physical changes are radically changing your diet. And as you might imagine, that means moving away from refined foods and sugars and meat and dairy and moving towards fruits and vegetables. The other physical factor is taking herbs and supplements. And again, that varies from individual to individual. The other seven are mental and emotional. So it's um, increasing your positive emotions, releasing suppressed emotions that you might be holding on to, um, following your intuition, which was one that really surprised me, deepening your spiritual connection practice. So any sort of practice that gets you connected to what some people call spirit, other people call divine, other people might call it unconditional love. It doesn't need to be tied to any religion. And then um, increasing social support, so having a community of loved ones, and finding strong reasons for living and taking control of your health. Mm. Is that nine? Yes, I think we got them all. Yeah.